My name is Doug Millen. I'm a 21-year-old youth ambassador for the Inspire Foundation and ReachOut.com. And tonight we're at ReachOut headquarters in Sydney. And um, we have a bunch of young people here to talk to the Minister for Mental Health, Mark Butler, um, about the state of young people's mental health. I thought it was important to come tonight to find out what the government is doing about the issue of mental health and hopefully give the Minister insight into um, our experiences so he knows what it's actually like. I'm here because I think it's really important that we start to talk about this stuff and I think it's an excellent opportunity for young people to engage in the political process and to have their say in the political sphere of things. I'm more excited to be here uh, to talk to, to Mark Butler about, uh, about why engaging young people um, on mental health is important. I want to talk to him about my experiences with mental health and what has worked during my journey and what hasn't worked. I hope that after this evening he'll have a better insight and understanding and then he can turn that around and make a difference. So what we want to do tonight is um, we want to have a very open conversation uh, about uh, our experiences with youth mental health and um, share this with the Minister uh, so he can um, prepare a mental health strategy. Um, if you'd like to jump in on there. I've been mental health minister now for about 10 weeks. It's mm -hmm. the first time we've had a mental health minister in Australia at a national level. Uh, and this online forms a great opportunity, particularly to connect with young Australians, not just here in Sydney, but around the country, about the issues that they think are important. At times during the night, I was um, mediating the discussion between uh, the young people who were there in the room with me, um, between what the minister wanted to say in response to that. And uh, we were also bringing things from the, um, the online forums which we had showing on a projector in the room so everyone could see who was there. Mm. I might just bring a few things in from uh, what's going on in the forum. Mental health mean, to me means a person's mental well-being and their state of mind and um, down the bottom we have it's about well-being as well and being happy with yourself. There's a great point in there about school as well. Honey bun, I think it was, was asking whether there are any plans to, I don't know who's honey bun, but um, asking whether there's any plans to, to deal with this in school. People also need reassurance that they aren't going to have to go through whatever mental issue they may have alone. Um, so we know that there are services out there, but there are so many other young Australians who, who don't know that. When you're really unwell, you think you're the only person going through this when really you aren't, and I think this is a key point that we could include in the mental health strategy, is the use of, the use of peer support workers. Mm. So young people who have been through the experience who can put their hand up and say, you know, hey, I've experienced this too, and I have got better, and you can get better too. There's not just stigma with having a mental illness. Sadly enough, there's stigma about trying to do something about it. I think the stigma also relates to other people who, like, are uncomfortable with people with mental health and therefore mm. like just want them, I, you know, not to deal with them and they, they can go in a little room and I don't have to deal with that. It's not just sort of stigma in society but it's in your own household as well because I've mm. found based on personal experience I wasn't able to speak to my parents straight away. It took me quite a number of years to. There were a lot of things that put me off about seeing GPs and seeing counsellors was because I didn't understand the process. There's a real lack of youth friendly services and as a young person, I don't want to go through an adult service, that's not going to meet my needs. And time and time again, we get this feedback from young people, they don't feel comfortable going to mainstream adult services. We've got to accept that is the reality and try and find another way for them to enter and get, and get help because those access rates that you talked about are terribly low. Maybe a lot of people feel a bit of a fear about young people accessing support online. Um, but the reality is that it's much more relevant to young people now and that's how they're accessing information and support. And for a young person to engage in that anonymously and in a way that they can control, um, they, they might find information that then gives them the confidence to seek help um, in a professional capacity. There's some great feedback I got about the need to lift services in schools and to uh, increase education of teachers, students themselves, but also parents about how to talk about mental health as if it's just another part of general health. So I really enjoyed tonight. I got a lot out of it, a lot of material to take away as I work up some options as my job to present to the Prime Minister for further action in mental health. Tonight was an amazing opportunity uh, to get 
comments from young people directly to someone who is going to play an integral role in shaping the next mental health strategy for Australia. And we know that young people's experience of mental health is, is difficult and the majority of the onset of mental illness is between the ages of 15 and 25. Um, so young people are the perfect people to talk to about how to deliver better mental health services. Thank you.